this episode, we are getting ready for the adventures ahead by putting our equipment and gear to the test to be sure that we are ready for subarctic conditions. So we're testing everything out on the way to Woody's cabin. Something I was reminded of about life in the Arctic Circle is you need to be prepared. There's no safety nets here. It's less likely that you have a traveler by, cell reception, or somewhere warm to go when you run into troubles. That's why over the holidays we spent time making sure vehicles were running, we had heaters installed, did sled maintenance, and spent time understanding how our fin trail gear would hold up to the cold. I thought I'd stop before I hit you. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Mainville ATV and Outdoors. Something a little different. We are in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. That's up north, way north. And I know, there's more north. There's always going to be that guy in the comment section. Oh, I've been more north. Yes. Okay, I hear you. We have all the sleds. Ready to go. We have some future trips planned here. I can't wait. Cass is all geared out in her fin trail layering system. So she has the full insulated suit. Oh, my toque. Her toque, the mid layer and under layer. All right. Oh, wow. You got all the layers. She actually has the jacket and everything. Wow, you're going to be really warm. I have the bib and the jacket. But the jacket I could take off. I would just rather have layers and take them off than Very not true. be prepared. So for me, I have the non-insulated 20, minus 20 suit. She has a minus 30 suit. I have the mid layer, as you can see here. And I have, of course, the uh, next to skin. This is my favorite setup. I run a little warmer. So, of course, this is what I'm going to do. There's Phil. He's our, our local guide. And uh, he's the one who's getting our adventure on the go here. So we're just going to get loaded up. One of the difficulties that we do have is uh, in the cold, of course, everyone knows GoPros don't work very well. So we're gonna try our best. It may be a little bit of cell phone video and stuff like that, and uh, we'll make it work. Just like my helmet here, I had to block off a bunch of vents. I put earplugs on the inside and all sorts of stuff. I got a rag stuffed in here, because we went out for a night ride, and uh, I looked like a block of ice. <laughs> this yellow knife terrain beautiful conditions I think we're hitting oh we might be hitting minus 30 with wind but it's like minus 20 right now everything's holding up incredibly well except for GoPro batteries of course massive 900 A's here this is the expedition rig of choice up here in the north very common machine Scandix expeditions certainly have a little bit of experience with that Phil and uh, Cass here are taking a look at some of the fancy Polaris features that she bought. Trying Not out long. the map. 6235. 62.35. Okay. 035. <laughs> zero, zero. <laughs> We're going to Woody's. 
Everyone knows Woody. He's an old new. Oh, everyone does know. You go anywhere up north, everyone knows Woody. Yeah. I mean, everywhere up north. You go to Inuvik, everyone knows Woody. You go to Igloolik, everyone knows Woody. <laughs> He's been up here for decades. Yeah, we should see him today too, right? He went yep. out. He went to the city for groceries. I have to go get a new stove. I do have to say that in the trees, Phil, it is uh, beautiful out here. Yeah. This is Jess's favorite. Is uh, cruising through the trees with all the snow on them. Oh, it's super nice. And uh, as a photographer, I mean, you can't screw this up. <laughs> you look like a pro. Not a lot of, uh, well, there. I mean, there is quite a bit of snow here in the trees, but uh, it's fairly tight and skinny little trees, and lots of branches, and it's not deep enough or a, a good enough base yet. It's still early in the season to be playing in there. You're going to run into a bunch of stumps and rip A-arms and stuff like that. But uh, we're certainly going to find some spots to play in and give it a whirl. Our machines are still well into break-in. Mine's still like 87% left in the break-in. So. so is Cass, just chugging the oil. Good times, we're exploring the uh, Northwest tor Territories here. We'll see what we get up to. Feeling good, feeling good. Beautiful out here, man. I love, love being in the trees here. There's not many in there. They're fairly stunted, but pretty nice regardless. Still well in the break-in, 86% it says, left. I thought I'd stop it before I hit you. It's been here two minutes. Phil's already got the uh, hot drink of choice. Hot apple cider. It's looking good. Mm. It's too hot. First world problems. My thermos is too good. <laughs> and of course, my GoPro died again. So Tris, the old cell phone next to the chest is working out. This is Woody's cabin. And they were nice enough to let us come by. Maybe warm up a little bit. Very cool. Tomorrow we're going to the other one. I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah, tomorrow is quite uh, a bit more of a trip. A yeah. bit more of a trip. This one is kind of a breakdown of, of gear and making sure everything's going to work out. This is how everyone uh, knows who's home here in Yellowknife. True. It reminds me of the 90s when you'd leave your bicycle at a friend's house. <laughs> Where's the kids at? Uh, oh there. man, my buddy's over here, yeah. sweet. The owner Woody got home here and he brought a brand new uh, wood stove. Get rid of the old one. 
And here's the old one. We lugged that out. I was saying, lucked out because there was a whole bunch of people here to help them out. Old man wouldn't be able to pull that off the truck. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've been enjoying some nice warmth, some coffee. Woody made some muffins. I'm gonna have one of those muffins. I think I earned one. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is kind of, like I said, it's the Canadian experience just on juice. You know, a little, little extra on all accounts is uh, so far the way I'm gauging it. I don't know if you've ever met a Canadian Newfoundlander before, but their accents range from coherent to gibberish. I had to sneak a quick shot because when these two started disagreeing, it was probably one of the most hilarious things that I'd run into in a long time. Yeah, I went and got his dry. I went and got his bike yeah. this morning. That was only at uh, 9 o'clock, I think. Mm. Did you hear me, Smarty, one day? Yep. So the dog was barking? Did you know? Did you thought it was a moose or, or a Sasquatch no, out there? I knew it was you. I seen you coming. I was oh. like, well, I could see it from, I was like, and then I was like, oh, there's what I. And I'd yeah. say, I'm not taking it my f***ing rifle because there's nothing out there like. Yeah. So I, I used to take my shotgun for a time again. When I come, I didn't come through this port house, there was this f***ing dirt cow moose I am looking at. You'll mm -hmm. go in at no, I'm like, you got to be f***ing kidding me. <laughs> oh, man, in my pocket, all I had was number eight shot. I said, well, I ain't can't for that with that. You get cut off. Yeah, but it tears the striper off and pump them. I tried that. You, I when, when, when it comes off like that, she won't pump out and you will tip, you ruin your extractor. Oh, like one shot, oh, maybe not, but, and you got to be really close. You got no accuracy. No, 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 actually, 50 yards are closer. Yeah. But anyway, got me pumped, got, uh, got me right, we'll come back out, he was gone. I sat there and I called and called and called until dark and I never seen him. We had rifle and he said, let's go out this way. And we went around now and when we looked there, he was stuck up when he knocked him. Got back to the house, grabbed me rifle come back look for any gone and next day I looked and there was a little pocket on me uh case I had box slugs in there. Ah, yeah. no. <laughs> Didn't even fucking know it. I would have tried well, you know I would've cut, would cut off the yeah. shell and given it, yeah, give it a I, I tried that one time to hire on the extractor mine. Because what happens when you go for pump your shell where he where he breaks apart the cat goes in so hard he won't come out. Yeah but you don't you don't do that. You open her off and you cut them off and then you gotta slide him with your finger. I know that. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. That goes in. But when he, when he hits the cat, when that shell breaks off yeah. and all that goes through there, the cat it goes a lot tighter in your chamber than normal. So I had to have a laugh. We're in there and we're talking about getting the right fitting to make the stove converted to propane. And we've got the wood stove getting heated up for the first time. We're all joking, laughing, having some apple juice and just comparing sleds and talking history. A lot of us have a military background, so it's pretty nice that way. What's really cool is we're in this cabin in the middle of like Great Slave, Northwest Territories, that's that lake. And uh, you've got a, one guy from British Columbia, you got one family, two, three families from Newfoundland, eh? So just, yeah, tons of them. A couple of young lads from different camps and different visitors from other places just nearby and I don't know it just doesn't get much more Canadian than that obviously we're from Ontario living in Sask Saskatchewan and you could probably hear the sleds okay. there it is but yeah we're gonna wrap up here shortly and uh, get the sleds warmed up and head back in the dark and then hopefully my GoPro will actually uh, show that Ooh.
Well, thanks for taking us to Woody's, Phil. Yeah, so glad Woody was uh, a good guy about it, let you in and gave you some food. Apple juice. I've be. never met a bad newfie. Yo, there's no such thing, I don't think. I don't, I don't think so. I've met all the good ones, if not. But pretty good show. We're going to kind of unpack, repack. we got a kind of day in between, but we're going to be going on another trip. Yeah. And uh, that one's uh, a much bigger one. Yeah. Different style cabin, too. Yeah, totally. A little, a little more austere. are sticking to it. Holy freak, Phil, that one happened fast. <laughs> Just a little baby. Hi, Diesel. Where are we? 